can you sustain an anti-market force, which really what ESG is, when all of a sudden the sobering reality of economic recession starts to set in? Do you think that as the economy starts to turn sour in the next nine months, that some of these major firms are going to kind of put ESG on the back burner? That's you raise a great point, and I I am uh, I share that same hope, but also projection that as the negative consequences of ESG oh, that they've been running for the last ten years starts to come home to roost, we already see it with the inflation, with the lack of energy supplies. These are because of ten years of underinvestment in oil and gas recovery, new mining, new agriculture projects because of the restriction of, of capital by ESG. And it absolutely is, is going to throw sand in their gears. I'm hopeful that it will also focus people's minds on what ESG is, what it means for them and their families, so that we can finally do something about it. Because, you know, during, during the cheap money era, during the low inflation era, um, people, it was, it was real easy to virtue signal. I know yes. you, you go hard against the virtue signal. It was cheap to do that, and it's been That's cheap for exactly America to right. do that. Now, now it's expensive, and it's time that we, we turn, turn the boat around and start doing what we should be doing. Yeah, I, I think what you're doing is so important, and it's perfect timing. And again, it's consumersresearch.org. I love it. I learned a lot by going there because there's going to be this kind of delicious death match that is going to unfold between these hyper woke HR departments and the bean counters at these major corporations where they're going to say, look, we really can't afford to pick our stock portfolio or allocate the funding of this firm solely based on abstract ideological principles. When all of a sudden interest rates go up to 7% or 8% for a home and inflation is going out of control and the economy starts to fall and Dropbox lets off 10,000 people and Salesforce lets off 15,000 people and Meta lets off 20,000 people and the economy starts to fall apart, I think it's going to be a blow to the ideologues unless these companies are willing to become super PACs and not turn a profit. Well, and, and, and you're already seeing some of that. Um, they're pushing companies, and they, they again, this falls under their ESG framework, to um, admit so they can scold them when they've given to political candidates that don't toe the line on net zero or trade associations or C3s or C4s. So they, they know that the, the clock is running out, that they, it's gonna, the pressure is going to be higher and higher to turn the boat around, and they are doing whatever they can to gag politically anyone would oppose them. It's truly a megalomaniac it project. Really is. Yeah. Um, and so that's it's so important that consumers, that's why we've launched this campaign. That's why we, we are out there educating consumers. They are going to try to blame um, the weather. They're going to try to blame the Ukrainian war. They're going to try to blame whatever they can. Don't let them fool you. Let me tell you who's responsible for a good portion of the inflation you're seeing from the gas pump to the grocery store. It's Larry Fink, that's exactly BlackRock, what. and the other asset managers. 